Bells are great. You have to be very careful about uh, your unconscious, tapping into it and having it influence the outcome, which it will do. But if you open yourself to the magic of the sacred uh, and you allow that to guide you. So in other words, you say, I need transportation to work. You don't say, I need a Ferrari. You say, I need transportation to work. If the universe brings you a bicycle, you say, thank you. And you get on the bicycle because it turns out that the universe knew that you were developing coronary heart disease. And with the bicycle, you're gonna live longer. With the Ferrari, you're gonna have an accident and you're gonna lose it anyway. So you learn to trust the universe because there is a greater wisdom at play. And it's a part of your wisdom, but it sees a little further down the road than you do. And one of the ways that you learn how to do this, to trust this, and to trust the magic of the universe, and to make that magic yours, and to make your life magical, and to make your life your magic, is by learning how to pay attention to the signs and the messages that the universe sends you. One of the easiest is the synchronicity. Jung came up with that idea. And um, you can read all about it in witchcrafting, and you can read it all about it in Jung, and you can read about it in Campbell, and it's a very popular idea now. But as a sign of the magic of the universe, this is one of the, the richest and most untapped areas. A co it's a coincidence, but it's a coincidence that has profound meaning to you. When I delivered uh, my third book, it was, it was devoted to the, the Dionysian principle. It's called the love spell, and it was all about Dionysus, um, this particular aspect of the divine masculine for me. The day that I delivered it to uh, my publisher, they had moved their offices. And I arrived in Times Square, which is where they were. I come up out of the subway and I look and there are these enormous billboards. And on one is James Dean and on the other is Bruce Springsteen. And I thought, thank you, because I know that these are symbols of that aspect on the archetypal level. These are symbols. It was a sign from the universe, in a sense, of thank you here, you know, you're, the book is about this, and here it is. Here is this enormous energy in the culture, and it's coming back, um, and it's expanding what it means to be sacred in a masculine way. And it was profound. It was extraordinary for me. So you start to decipher, you start to see, you start to understand. That's why it's important to read myths. That's why it's important to study runes, tarot. There's a whole vocabulary. We call it the table of correspondences, which is the, the the Wiccan way of making sense out of these relationships. The, the divine speaks to us in words, but it speaks most often in symbols and languages of, um, of pictures and imagery. And um, when you begin to understand what they're about, you can decipher the meaning. There's a wonderful old Greek term, it's called a kladen, and it, it's a message, it's a message from the sacred. And it's usually delivered in the voice of a small child. You're at the supermarket, and you're depressed and you know you've broken up with your boyfriend and you you know you don't know what to do with yourself and suddenly you know you hear piping up this little voice and it's like um you know i believe in love mommy i believe in love because you and mommy and daddy found each other and you made me it's a clayton it's a message nobody else heard it nobody else noted it you heard it you heard it and it's a sign from the universe this relationship may have ended but the whole world lies before you. Don't despair, have hope. The world awaits you. If you want a husband, you'll have it. If you want a child, you'll have it. Uh, one of the, 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 the best that I have ever seen was attending a funeral. And, um, and I was talking to the person who lost their father and he's like, I don't believe in God and I want to and I could use it at this moment. And all of a sudden, a, a huge truck pulls up and passes us and it says, God's trucking and a car pulls in front of us, and the license plate says, Dow, T-A-O. It's like, <laughs> it's there, it's all around you. The reason that I've practiced Wicca for so long is because it's taught me how to take off the blindfold and see those signs. And the magic that the universe offers you is a magic of hope and fulfillment and joy and challenge it's not without pain, it's not without suffering. You can't just wave a magic wand, you know, and, and make the difficult times go away. In fact, some of the most powerful magic is in those times of suffering, in those challenges. Um, but the world is alive. It's rich with divinity, it's rich with grace, and it, it's, it's casting a spell all the time. And the, the spell that it's casting, actually, is you.